Hi, Barefoot Tuna here. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to kick out a specific villager. This is going to be the shorter tutorial version of this topic. If you want to understand how the game mathematically works, how the game chooses a villager and all that, if you want to understand why I'm time traveling, if you want to understand all that in detail, watch the previous videos. I'll link them in the description. But for now, I'm just going to do it. Let's get to it. First things first, it's going to load up your game like normal and pay attention to the date. It is May 1st. What I'm going to do is I'm going to time travel 30 days into the future. That is to maximize my chances of getting a villager with a thought bubble who wants to move. If you don't want to time travel, you don't have to just play one day at a time normally until you get a villager that has a thought bubble. And then from there, follow along with the rest of the video. So for now, I'm gonna time travel 30 days into the future. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you who I'm kicking out in this video. It's gonna be this guy right here, Julian. Why? This is why. Goodness gracious, oh my goodness! Julian's trying to spear me. So yeah, I'm gonna kick out Julian for trying to spear me. So let's get to it. Save and end. And time travel, 30 days. So here I am on June 4th, all I'm going to do is save and quit, save and end the game, and go back to May 1st. The reason I'm going to go back is just so that I can stay around the date that I started on. I don't want to time travel too much into the future, so I'm going to go back to the date that I was on. If you don't care about what date you're on, you don't care about traveling into the future, you can just stay here and keep going one day at a time. But I'm going to go back. So save and end. And let's go back. Okay, so I'm back on May 1st. Also, I may point out the time of day that I have set is around 1 p.m. You want to pick a time of day where most of the villagers will be walking around outside. You don't want to play too early when they're still in their house. You don't want to play too late at night when they're already asleep. The one, you want to play at a time when most of them are out, but specifically when the one you're trying to kick out is most likely to be walking around. So I can start the process. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look around the villager with the thought bubble or in this case since i'm trying to kick out julian specifically look he's in his house he doesn't have the thought bubble i could just save an end and go to the next day but let me try to find the person with the bubble which look is right here happens to be canberra so this is what you want to do once you have the villager with a thought bubble about moving all right canberra wants to move but I don't want Canberra to move. I'm trying to get Julian to move. Here's what you do. Very, 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 very important. This is important. Are you listening? Please tell me. This is important. You are listening. This is the crucial step. When you find the person with the thought bubble, if you start the conversation, do not finish the conversation. Do not finish the conversation. Do not finish the conversation. Don't tell them to stay. Don't tell them to leave. Just quit the game and time travel to the next day if you don't want to time travel just resume your day but don't talk to that villager and just wait till it's naturally the next day and try to find the bubble again it's 
It's May 2nd. It's a Saturday. That means KK Slider is in town. Now, when I have done this in the past, I was not able to get a mover when it was Saturday, when KK was in town. I don't know if that if that always happens. Maybe you can't get a mover on Saturdays, or if it was just coincidence for me. But I'm just letting you know that that's what happened to me previously. I will run around, try to find the Thought Bubble. And if I don't find one, I'm just going to save an end and go to the next day. But also, look, Julian is in his house. I should just save and end anyway. But let me look for the bubble. Here's Raymond. Let me add something else here too. So your most recent villager to have moved in will not be the one to want to move out ever. So in my case, Julian, I mean, Raymond is my most newest villager. So in me, in all the times of me doing this, he has never asked me to move out. The game has never picked him. So keep that in mind. The other thing is, whoever asked you about moving the last time, if you told them to stay and they're still here, they will not ask you about moving again. They will not be chosen two times in a row. Got it? The other thing too is if a villager's house is being relocated, the game will not pick them. If it's around the time of their birthday, either before or after, it has something to do with it, so they might not be chosen. There's something else that you should keep in mind. So let's save it and go to the next day. So Julian is in his house again. I should just save an end, but let me see if I can find a thought bubble about moving just to show you guys. Raymond will not move out. I didn't find anybody. I'm not going to look in buildings. I'm going to save and end, go to the next day. All right, so Julian is out of his house. That's a good sign. Let's look for him. Okay, I couldn't find a mover. Julian doesn't want to move. Save and then go to the next day. May 5th. There's somebody behind the house here that wants to move. Let's find out who it is. What do you guys think it is? Drum roll. It's Walt. Okay, so Walt wants to move. So look, I'm going to talk to Walt to show you guys this part again. He wants to move. I don't want Walt to move. I'm trying to kick out Julian. So again, once you get to this part of the conversation, do not answer. Do not tell them to stay. Do not tell them to leave. Just quit the game. Time travel to the next day. If you answer the question and you tell them to stay, that activates a five day cooldown. So for the next five days, nobody else will ask you about moving. But also your chances are going to be kind of low. 
So that is why you just quit the game. May 6th. Julian is in his house. I'm just going to save and go to the next day. May 7th. Julian is in the house again. Save and end. Go to the next day. And there we go, look, finally, Julian has a thought bubble about wanting to move. It's also raining, which confirms you can get a mover when it's raining. Let's talk to him and tell him to leave. I wish you the best. This is what you get for trying to spear There you go, that is how you kick out a specific villager. Now, if you made a huge mistake, or you have a change of heart, and you want them to stay after all, even after you told them they could leave, there's a way to do it. Watch my video about that, I'll link it in the description. If you enjoyed this video, if this video was helpful, I would appreciate some comments, some likes, share the video, tell your friends, Tell your grandpa. Grandpas love to kick people out. If you want to be part of my giveaways and my mini game events, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch, and join the Discord. All the infos in the description. Thank you for watching. Barefoot Tuna signing out.